I haven't got the personality to be a streamer, uh, but I'm a full-time gamer outside of work. Good to see some familiar stadium names. So Cookie Crumble, just the name alone tells me you have the personality. If you look at my first uh, streams, I mean, it didn't look like I had any kind of chance to make it. There, uh, there's for sure I didn't never thought I was gonna make it to a thousand subs. But you'd be surprised what people like. People just like you for who you are. It's it's the strangest things. Like I've heard people say, including uh, Cowboy, I've heard him say, uh, describe himself as bringer of uh, controversy. There's a word that I can't think of. But somebody who would probably have, you know a few people that dislike him or whatever right but you'd be surprised you know it's like uh he's he's very likable in my i mean in my opinion and i've seen other streamers where they they kind of talk like this very oh squids squids is like that squids is very calming look at the energy levels between anthony and rock rock is pretty energetic and then look at the energy levels between squids and windstar now squids and windstar i don't know how new squids are i know windstar is pretty new but it doesn't really matter man like if you like talking to people if you just like like kind of you know uh brainstorming and, and uh, ranting you can stream like I've, i don't know how many streams i have with like one or two views doesn't really matter to me i'm talking to somebody when i look at this lens right here somebody's behind that lens even if it's one person for a minute that stops by and says hey uh you know that's that's good enough for me what i recommend if you're a cookie uh mccrumble that is the funniest thing man. if you feel like you want to stream but you're nervous about it you're self-conscious about it pick a topic pick a game and then just record yourself uh like you're streaming live and then watch it and then whatever you don't like, uh, like, like I used, I, I still do it now. I do a lot of, um, and, uh, you know, and, uh, you know what I mean? And so I do a lot of that. Once you get comfortable with that, just go live and you'd be surprised how, uh, how fast you get used to it. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm still uncomfortable with being solo. It takes a ch uh, charity month to build my conference. Look at all the advantages um that you have you know i mean your voice you can't buy that you know what i mean i know how my voice sounds it's not the greatest voice especially now that i'm sick i know that i stutter because my vocabulary doesn't really come to me as fast as it should uh, it's gotten better since you know uh, english is my second language but you just got to get comfortable and it'll just get better and better and you know accept if you accept it people are going to accept it 100 percent agree rock is great and an awesome voice a very impressive voice i don't know though i'm uh, you know, it's not a competition, but Papa Bear Gaming, man, that guy. First, find out what you like and have fun with it. And people who like the content will come. Yeah, especially because your likes are going to shift. Sometimes you're going to be really into this. And then sometimes you're going to be really into that. And it's okay if it's just people, if people keep coming back, that's because they like you, not because of uh, or whatever. I mean, look at that. I got uh, Ash jumped in and she's a Animal Crossing um, a viewer. If you can get one person to sit, sit, uh, sit there and watch you, for an hour, two hours, six hours in Cowboys case. I mean, that's that's a fan right there. It's my biggest fault by a county mile is I cannot look down the lens. I feel really uncomfortable doing it. Yeah, it's really hard, man. It's really hard. So you can get away with it, like by the the fact that I have it next to the lens, uh, or that you're you know you're focusing your attention, you're focusing the audience's attention on something else, then you can get away with it. But when you really want to like drive it home. You gotta look at that lens. Uh, it's all right for uh, all you good looking guys. Nobody wants to stare at my floor. <laughs> Says the guy with the with the uh, duck face uh, thumbnails. It, again, it's self, it's comfort levels. Everybody has different comfort levels. You know, some people aren't comfortable enough to be on camera, so they just go no face cam. That's okay. You know, I feel so uh, conscious after you pointed out that duck thing that I stopped using this. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's funny but it's you look good though i don't understand uh you shouldn't feel self-conscious that's that's like i'm i purposely put this camera higher because i have a double chin like i, I like you saw right i tricked you i tricked you you thought i was skinnier than i was until you saw that um that uh why i love stadia video and you see the, you see the gut that's a trick you put the camera higher aim down at you and now your jaw looks more square than if you would have had it down here by the keyboard or you know what i mean so it's a trick and it's, it's not a i mean everybody does it <laughs> a trick that you, you see a lot of big streamers do is they put the camera way left or way right like uh sunny's like that okay look at sunny right look at sunny so when sunny was doing his live streams he was looking at the camera like uh he was looking at the screen like this looking at chat he didn't even look at the uh at the 
camera unless he wanted to emphasize something and then he would go from chat to like camera and then go back to chat so that's just the way i mean I, I, that's it's just from what i've noticed you know what i mean you don't have to look at the camera all the time you just have to be aware that that's where your audience is i don't like how sunny doesn't look at the screen that's not my thing but it's obviously works for him yeah now he does though now with the new the new videos that he's putting out he's doing that because now he's not looking at chat anymore so before he did it because he like me he didn't want to lose track of chat but the new podcast with the art live he he looks straight into the camera I'm happy letting the pro, uh, pros do the stream and is sticking to playing and watching more of social anxiety thing. But that, uh, thank you for advice. We'll back it just in case. Yeah, I mean, it helps though. It, if it's a social anxiety issue, it would help your social anxiety. It would, especially if you have, you know, nobody watching in the beginning and then one watching and then two and then three. You know what I mean? I guarantee you, if you, uh, if you jump into uh, one of Anthony's shows with 30 people watching, uh, it might be a little bit of overload, but uh, it's definitely possible. Uh, there are hundreds of thousands of potential viewers in Stadia, but the nature of the service means a fraction are interested and most are hooked to one or two creators next to impossible breakout. I, I mentioned it with uh, Ray and, uh, and you know, um, I feel the same way with The Rock and Four Scars Gaming. It's when you're focused on one specific uh, topic, uh, cloud gaming or in our, in our case, like Stadia, the audience has to be there so you know don't feel bad if you know some random uh, animal crossing streamer has a hundred thousand subscribers and then we have you know whatever a thousand sixteen hundred because it's just that's just the audience that we have that's all it is it's the audience i'll, I'll show you guys a quick example here how many active users does stadia have 700 something right that's the last figure we had heard let's say we made it to a million already well, a million uh, users out of all of those, only 272,000 are interested enough in Stadia to at least subscribe to the channel so that they get whenever the new games are coming, right? And then what happens uh, after that? So the top top content creator is Sunny, for sure, right? Sunny? Where's he at? I saw him here. And so Sunny has 22,000. So that's, if we have a million active Stadia players, some people said two million, but I don't know if I believe it. So it's a million, right? And a quarter of that are interested enough on Stadia to subscribe to the Stadia channel. And then 10% of that is interested enough to look for a channel that gives them more updates in the channel than the Stadia channel can provide. So right now you're looking at, what is that, 25% and then 10% of that. Uh, what is it, like a 2%? Is that, does that make sense? Yeah, that's, so Sunny has 2% of the audience, right? So now let's look at, uh, which was bigger, PlayStation? 14.2 million subscribers. So to me, if I'm doing simple math and it's not accurate, but if 25% of Stadia active users are subscribed to the Stadia channel, then 14.2 million if that's 25 percent that's 28 that's 40 uh 56 56 million active users so we're comparing uh content creators that have 50 something million potential uh uh viewers let's say what's two percent of that like a million right and so yeah, i'm sure there's playstation content creators with a million subscribers you see what i'm saying uh, and then you divvy up with the different games and stuff. So I don't know. I'm a math guy, man. And to me, that's I'm, I don't get I don't get uh, down when I see you know uh, my uh, subscribers not growing. It's just it's just the way it is.